All right, update. So I have put the copper tape inside and actually I think it worked out better that I had such thin tape because it made it easier to kind of get it inside. Um, and I used these like Cricut tongs to like kind of help me. Now, looking at his, there also seems to be like some tape or like a painter's tape type thing going on. I'm sure it's something like actually fancy, um, but that's what it looks like to me. And I probably am thinking that's on there so that this copper doesn't damage the cork. So I'm gonna find something to do the same. I'm gonna use this kind of tape. I do not think that's what's in there, but this is what I have. And I just wanna say, repair people are awesome. They're wizards, they're incredible. They do amazing things. Should I be doing this? No. Should I have just paid the repairman to do this? Yes. But here I am doing it because it's expensive and sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So learn from my mistakes, contact your repairman. All right, so I've done one layer of the tape. Let's see if it fits on. His tape looked thicker, so I'm a little worried that I'm gonna have to do another layer of something, but fingers crossed. <laughs> it's still too loose. All right, let's do maybe a layer of copper and then maybe a layer of tape. Let me think about it. So here I am adding another layer to the barrel. So as you can see here, um, I actually ended up adding another layer of the copper tape and an extra layer of the regular tape and now it fits beautifully on my clarinet. So a couple of things I just want to address in case anybody asks about it is why didn't I just get the cork or the part of the tendon enlarged or something like that. Um, my repairman told me that's extremely expensive and then if I ever decided not to use this barrel, I would have a hard time putting on the older barrel that came with it. I wouldn't be able to just switch because I had completely permanently altered my clarinet. Um, and it was much cheaper to do the copper tape option that he had. 